डायरेक्ट डेमोक्रेसी देर आर टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी डायरेक्ट डेमोक्रेसी एंड इनडायरेक्ट डेमोक्रेसी डायरेक्ट डेमोक्रेसी वॉट इट इज इमेजिन अ सिचुएशन इन विच एन इश्यू इज रेज इन द सोसाइटी लेट से द इश्यू ऑफ डिसाइडिंग अ प्लेस फॉर बिल्डिंग अ स्कूल फॉर चिल्ड्रंस टू सॉल्व दिस इश्यू ऑल पीपल बिलोंगिंग टू द सोसाइटी गैदर एट अ प्लेस they discuss the issue and their problems each one suggests the possible solutions finally the solution is selected that is accepted by majority of people based on the solution decision is made to select the place in such situations people are directly involved in decision making such type of direct participation of people is known as direct democracy example such type of democracy was present in older period example in athens the capital city of greece during 4th and 5th century favorable conditions during old times the population in a society was small women slaves and foreigners did not have right to involve in decision making in this way the actual decision makers were very small in number so it became favorable for all to gather at a place the issues for which these people gather were also simple and could be solved collectively In such type of democracy people have no other ruler than themselves this suggests people were sovereign in real sense it means people have full authority to make decisions and laws decline of direct democracy with time the population is increased the increased population made it difficult to gather at a place anyhow if it is possible to gather still decision making process become complicated similarly as the development entered in world the issues became much more complicated and thus efficiency of direct democracy goes down as a result direct democracy started declining